and welcome back to my channel. I am filming yet again on my balcony. If you didn't see the last time I filmed that, I'll link it below. There were some pretty interesting bloopers. Today, however, I am filming whoops, a haul for you. Um, my boyfriend was down. We were shopping because he had a car so we could kind of go other places. So we went down to Fairview Park Mall in Kitchener and did some major shopping. There's a Sephora, there's a Mac, and there's a Lush store down there. So obviously I had to buy some things. So let's just jump right in. So the first thing I bought was actually from Bath and Body Works. They have a huge sale on right now where um, some of their older items are, I believe it was like $4 or something. So I picked up this Cucumber Melon Fine Fragrance Mist. I really like these. I have the Sweet Pea one. And this one's just really nice. It's really, um, it's just, it's really fresh, basically. So I think this will make a great summer fragrance. I think I've had like something this scent before. And so in this Lush bag, there's actually a lot of stuff that's not Lush related. So I'll start with some of those. I went to Walmart just to grab a couple new things that I I needed to pick up. These are more essentials than treats, but whatever. Uh, the first is the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational Mascara in Blackest Black. I've tried a lot of Maybelline mascaras. Some of them are amazing and some of them are really bad. So I'm hoping this works really well for me and turns out to be amazing. The other thing I picked up at Walmart was this Perfect Point Plus um, eye, eyeliner pencil from CoverGirl. Funny story about this, this is the first eyeliner I ever owned and I used two of them. I just remember really liking this and it's got a really teeny tiny fine tip and you wind it up and you don't sharpen it. So we're going to try this and I'm going to see if I like it better than those Annabelle pencil liners that I'm always talking about, so we'll see. Okay, what else is in this bag? A pack of XL's Winter Fresh, nope, XL Spearmint Gum because this is my go-to and I love it. Bunch of receipts. Okay, so I mentioned that there's a Sephora and a Mac in this mall. I went into Mac and there was this group of like six or seven ladies who were just being horrible customers. Like, and the sales assistants were trying to deal with them. So I felt bad and didn't actually buy anything in there. It, they just they turned me off the entire experience. Sorry, sorry, Mac, I didn't get anything. But I did go into Sephora to get matched to a foundation. And the woman who helped me was so nice and she sent me away with two foundation samples. One is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in Sand 2 and the other is the NARS Sheer Glow in Silent. Um, we're gonna see how these work. I really want a nicer foundation. I feel like the ones I have are too heavy, a little too cakey. They're just not quite working for me right now. So I'm gonna try these two and see what I think, but I definitely wanted samples because these are so flippin' expensive. So yeah, I'm gonna try these and we'll see how I like them. All right, so I saved the best for last and that's what I got at Lush. There's a new store opened at the Fairview Park Mall. Um, before this, I didn't have one near enough to me to go shopping there. Even though I love it so much and I refuse to make online orders because I don't like paying for shipping and I'm also afraid that like bath bombs and things will just crack. So, popped into Lush. Um, because it's new, they didn't actually have a lot of stuff. They're waiting on their next shipment. So I kind of came at an awkward time, but I still managed to buy two things that I really, really wanted. Let's get into this. The first is their Shark Fin Soap. They always pair up during Shark Week to raise money against shark fin fishing. I'll leave a link to their website and everything about this, but this is basically the sea vegetable soap. It's got a little fin in there. And it's under $6 and you're helping prevent shark fin um, harvesting and all sorts of things. I'll link their website. The woman in the store was so good about explaining what it was for and totally sold me on buying this. I didn't intend to get it, but since I love sea vegetable, and the money goes to a great cause, I thought I'd pick it up. And then the other thing that I got in Lush is a total staple for me, and it is the Space Girl Bath Bomb. Mm, I just love it. It's a little bit sweet, definitely kind of fruity. I think it's got black currant in here, and it's shaped like a little, <laughs> either a planet or a UFO, it kind of depends on your perspective. But I love this. It's got a little bit of glitter in it, but not 
not so much that it makes your entire bath glittery, which I hate. So yeah, I grabbed one of these and I'm kind of wishing I grabbed two to be perfectly honest. So I'll be putting that in my bath tonight. So that's it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like and subscribe, maybe even comment. I will leave said links down below in the description bar and hope to see you next week. Bye.